Cascades or Carbon Cascades is a research training network funded by the European Union, Union under uh, the so-called uh, Marie Curie Slodowska Action. In the broadest term, its uh, overarching objectives is to better constrain the role of the global carbon cycle on Earth's climate, as well as to determine the fate of anthropogenic CO2 emissions, that is essentially the CO2 which is emitted by human activities through uh, fossil fuel combustion. In other words, our project aims at uh, better quantifying the fraction of these anthropogenic CO2 emissions that remain in the atmosphere, a key research question in the context of uh, better climate projections. And more specifically, Earth system models of the climate system and biogeochemical cycles, basically the models that are used to carry uh, climate uh, projections, ignore the potential impact of the transfer of carbon between the terrestrial biosphere and the ocean. And this has obviously implications for the, let's say, the robustness of these uh, climate projections. Thus, the groundbreaking character of uh, sea cascades is to explicitly account for the transfer of carbon from land to ocean along a succession of aquatic filters, uh, essentially streams, rivers, estuaries, and the coastal ocean. Now, in association to this uh, research or grand research question, we also have an important component of uh, training and education. And our aim here is to uh, produce the next generation of highly skilled uh, early stage researcher or PhD students, uh, which are uh, trained uh, under a very interdisciplinary and multidisciplinary framework in order to tackle this uh, grand uh, research question. The research and training activities of Sea Cascades are supported by a consortium of 13 uh, members, uh, including nine academic institutions, three industrial partners, and uh, one international organization in the name of the Global Carbon uh, Project. Uh, when it comes to the industrial partners, it spans a broad range of uh, companies. When it comes to the academic uh, institutions, several countries are represented. And one specificity of this uh, a training network from the European Union is that this research will actually be carried at least in at least two uh, institutions which are part of our network. So you have a strong component of mobility within this uh, European training network. Another interesting feature of the training within European uh, training network is actually the development of what is called network-wide uh, events basically organized by the network as a whole and during which um, the PhD students can really uh, can receive a, a training that is not accessible at uh, any single institutions at the European level. Those include, for instance, uh, mini conferences and summer school where maybe the science is at the forefront but as well as what we call training workshops during which the technical and the transferable skills development of these early stage researchers are uh, strongly developed. And maybe what is important to stress here is the idea that these network-wide events are obviously open to all of our own PhD students, those that are part of the network, but also to uh, PhD students outside of the network. And in this context, uh, the project C Cascades really helps structuring uh, doctoral training at the European level. First, um, we now have a much better understanding of the fate of carbon along the LOAC from its leaching from terrestrial systems down to its accumulation in the open ocean and, and sediments. We also have a much better understanding of the drivers of a greenhouse gas exchange between inland water, coastal waters and, and the atmosphere. Second, we also have a much better quantification of the carbon cycles across a wide range of climatic regimes from, uh, for instance, the carbon cycle in the Amazon to the carbon cycle in uh, catchments located in highly industrialized countries such as the Seine and the Danube. Third major progress has been made uh, towards the integration of the LOAC in Earth system models and this encompasses a, a much better description of the hydrology, an explicit interconnection between the terrestrial carbon cycle and the inland water carbon cycle, as well as an assessment of the imprint of uh, large rivers on the ocean uh, carbon cycle. So in the future, what remains to be done 
is a complete assessment of the impact of the LOAC on atmospheric CO2 level and climate projections, but we are fully confident that this objective is now at reach.